Worse than that. <laughs> now, Peyton, hello. Hello. Jason Gardner loves you. Ah, oh, well, I love Jason Gardner. It's a mutual lover. Which I, now you have been friends for years and years and years. We have, you? we have, we we. In fact, Jason got his start in television on a show called Queer Eye for the Straight Guy back in two thousand and three, and I was uh, also one of the presenters on that. So. He was the best thing for me that came out of that experience. We've been friends ever since. How lovely. And also, of course, let's just, we're going to do this once. Okay, we're going to do it once. We're going to get it out of the way. Okay. We're going to say three syllables. Oh, God. And, no, no, no. Three syllables, and then it's gone. Okay. Honey G. Gone. <laughs> <laughs> I've thrown her out. Okay, it's gone. Okay. It should have been you. It oh, should have been me. You know, God. That sort of thing. So Listen, we, I'm just going to say, the, as my father, who is a minister, says, the Lord works in mysterious ways. And it means that you're here today and, and she's here not. here today. And she will And it's be. all good. Yeah. There we go. Now, you have got an album coming out on the 9th of February. And, I do. And I've been listening to it since I knew you were coming on this show. And I was there with my daughters and my oldest just went, what a voice. I mean, beautiful. Oh, wow. Thank really you. beautiful. Thank you. Sinners Got Soul too. Sinners Got Soul too. I love that. Well, what? it's from it's from uh, the movie The Color Purple. Did you see the Steven Spielberg Color Purple yes, movie? Yes, I did. You remember that moment when Suge Avery is reconciled with her preacher father? You know, she goes into the church, she's singing, and because she's the sinner, and, and they've been, you know, um, estranged. And finally, you know, he forgives her and wraps his arms around her and cries, and she, she whispers in his ear, you see, Daddy, sinners got soul too. Oh, uh, so so it comes that. from that. What does your dad think of my, my Well, my, my father, you know, because he's, he's a Pentecostal preacher from yeah, the, from the South, it. yeah, so... Um, yeah, and 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 I have an I have a wonderful relationship with my parents, so thankfully, good. yeah. But what does he think of the title of that? Yeah, yeah, he, he loves it. Oh, good, he loves it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, look, I mean, you know, we're all sinners. Even the Bible says that. Oh, okay. All right, that's okay then. <laughs> we don't all have soul, but <laughs> some of us got a lot of yeah, it. Yeah, I think there are some people out there who maybe don't <laughs> have no um, souls. <laughs> so, what are you going to play for us first of all? Well, I'm I'm going to um, sing a song which is on the album um, called "I'll Rise" and. Uh, this this was a song that uh, I used for my audition uh, on X Factor, even though uh, one of the producers called me the night before and said, we don't recommend that you do sing this song because nobody knows it, and we think that you should sing something people know. Um, but it's a song uh, that's based on a poem by the African-American poet Maya Angelou. Uh, and the, oh, poem's, the poem's called And Still I Rise. And uh, Ben Harper, of course, the wonderful uh, soul, uh, American soul singer, he, he put those words to music and... And so I, I took this song years ago and created a dance, a dance version of it, um, which was released on Head Candy. But I wanted to strip it back and do a version of it uh, for my audition. And in the end, I stuck to my guns and did it. And, and, uh, and the reaction, you know, spoke for itself. So, um, so this, that version I did for the audition is on the album. And um, so I thought we'd, we'd start with that. Lovely. With Richard on guitar. With my friend Richard Erskine here on the guitar, yeah. Welcome, Richard. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. You may write me down in history With your bitter twisted lies And you may trod me down In the very dirt And still like the dust I'll rise Does my happiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I laugh like I've got an old well Pumping in my living room You may shoot me with your words and You may cut me with your eyes But I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise Out of the shocks of history, shame And up from a past that's rooted in pain I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise Now did you want to see me broken Bowed head and lowered eyes My shoulders falling down like teardrops Weakened by my soulful cries Does my confidence upset you? Don't you take it awful hard Cause I walk like I've got a diamond mine Breaking up in my front yard You may shoot me with your words And you may cut me with your eyes 
But I'll rise, I'll rise, I'll rise Out on the shocks of history, shame Up from a past that is rooted in pain I'll rise, I'm gonna rise, I'll rise You may shoot me with your words mm. You may cut me with your eyes You may shoot me with your words You may cut me You may cut me with your eyes Yeah down in history with your bitter and twisted lies and you may try me down in the very dirt still like the dust I'll rise does my happiness upset you why are you beset with you cause I laugh like I've got a diamond mine digging up in my living room you may shoot with your words You may cut me with your eyes But I'm gonna rise I'm gonna rise I'm gonna rise Out of the shacks of history shame And I'm from my past that's deeply rooted in pain I'll rise I'm gonna rise Oh, I'm gonna rise What a voice you've wow. got! Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> oh, thank you very much. That was intense. Uh, Incredible voice. You know, when, when I actually did the, the initial audition, of course, is not for the celebrity judges. It's for people that have been sitting in a room, you yeah. know, listening to 5,000 people sing. And, I, and it took about 12 hours to get into that room. And there was a big room with one guy and a boombox. And, you know, I had to stand there and sing this song. Yeah. And I thought, you know, he was exhausted and, you know, and I hadn't eaten all day. We were both in a bad mood. And he, and at the end of it, he just looked at me, and I couldn't tell if he was actually just taking the piss or you know being. Oh, apologies he, 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 he for that he word. Just, he just sorry, I, that might upset a lot of people. That word, so I just oh, have sorry, to. No, sorry, no, sorry. no, no, no. It's all right. All right. People get very relaxed in the show. I, but oh, that's I, thought, I thought in England that was just a. Like, no. a like, but that's oh, fine. I, it's I, done. I apologize, We've apologised. Apologize. Yeah, and um, and he and he and he just. Could you bet he couldn't speak? He, well, no, 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 no. Well, well, he just looked at me and went, "That was." That was very emotional, but I wasn't, I wasn't sure if it was, you know, it just, it just looked so kind of deadpan that I thought, I couldn't tell if it was just That's joking terribly or, or, British. Or and, <laughs> That's very British. You know, yeah. Oh, we're feeling terribly emotional well, and there's not a look but there on was, our face. There was absolutely nothing, you know, and I thought, well, he's been sitting there for 12 hours. He's probably just thinking, oh my God, you know. <laughs> so I looked around at this completely blank room. It was a massive room with nothing in it, you know, except yeah. this little desk and him. And I went... You know, to be honest, you know, the, 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 the room here is so inspiring. I just couldn't help myself, you know. It was just, you know, <laughs> it really has inspired this emotional performance, you know. Oh. Just, just in case he was joking, you know, at least I... I, got, I came back with one. <laughs> oh, no, that was incredible. What a soulful what, 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 voice. What, what, what amazing words. You know, I mean, what, what a, you know. The, the, no, oh, come on. No, like, I'm paying you a compliment. Mm. Your voice comes from somewhere very, very deep. It, it's not just you open your mouth and there's a voice, obviously, but, but there's something. You've, you've got soul. Well, I grew, I, I grew up singing in the church. And, uh, you know, I think if you grow up uh, singing in the church the way I did from a very, very young age, you, you kind of tell. you approach performance and you approach music in a very different way because it's not about you very 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 early on you learn that it's not about ego it's not about you yeah it's about you channeling something else even if you're not religious you know I mean as as, yeah. as the years have gone on of course I'm no longer uh, religious but I still approach music in that same way it's very interesting if you, if you like and to put it into sort of um, uh, simple terms I suppose as well for me it's more like musical theater because when you're in musical theater when you sing a song it's about feeling the words as opposed to singing a song yeah you know a lot of people say that and for me you just performed that song from your soul and you were feeling every single word it's a, it's a well and, and, and it, I mean, it does help if the 
if the lyrics are powerful. You know, I, I see music as ministry. I guess you know, I come from a long line. My there are there are twenty some ministers in my family. Twenty. My my, my father, my grandfather, my great grandfather, um, missionaries. I come from a long line of, of ministers, Christmas eva- evangelists. Must be fun. <laughs> <laughs> must have well, it, it is actually they're quite a colorful bunch of people, <laughs> and they're wonderful people. But um, but you know, I I come from this long line of of ministers, and I guess in, in a way, even though I'm. I'm, what I'm doing is not religious. I still see music for me as a type of ministry, Just uh, and 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 taking people somewhere and, and lifting up people's consciousness or giving them hope or you know whatever. Um, Jason Gardner said I'd fall for you, and I completely and utterly <laughs> have. <laughs>